right. Uh, so now uh, let's move on to our uh, final presenter for today. Um, uh, please welcome Mr. Wan Muhammad Asrul from University Putra Malaysia, Malaysia. So Mr. Uh, Wan Muhammad Asrul will be presenting uh, his work on vacuolar processing enzymes, enhanced uh, susceptibility response to Fusarium oxysporum uh, species cubensi, uh, tropical race 4 infection through activation of programmed cell death in Musa Kiminata. So do we have Mr. Wan Muhammad Asrul here in the room? Yes, I am. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. So the floor is yours, yeah? Whenever you're ready. Mm, can you see my slides? Yep, clearly. Okay. So um, hello everyone and a very good afternoon to all. My name is Wan Muhammad Ashrul Zam bin Wan Abdullah. I'm a master student of Dr. Laikot Song from University Putra, Malaysia. And today I'm going to share with you an interesting topic of my master study and title of uh, Vecular Processing Enzyme um, Enhanced Susceptibility Response to Fusarium of this forum, Cuban Cytopic Race for Infection through Activation of Program Cell Death in Musa Akuminata. So this is the present presentation outline for my presentation today. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the subject of this study, which is the banana plant, or also known as Musa Akuminata. It's originated from the Southeast Asia and falls under the family of Musaceae. Um, to date, there are more than 500 banana cultivars being cultivated throughout the world, and they were derived from two major species known as Akuminata or Babisiana. Banana is an important food crop due to its high nutritional content and high economical value. However, banana like other plant, it also prone to its disease. And one of the major disease in banana plantation is known to be Panama disease. And the causal agent for this disease is known to be Fusarium oxysporum cubense or FOC. To date, four races of FOC has been identified and the most virulent strain or the one that um, affecting the major uh, commercialized banana nowadays is FOC PR4. And uh, previously, scientists have noted that the site of infection for FOC is at the root. And during the infection process, scientists have shown that the key mechanism involved is the induction of programmed cell death or PCD. So what the FOC do during the infection process is that they release harmful toxins such as bevaricins or phosphoric acid to induce uh, PCD, or they hijack the programmed cell death machinery in the plant host. So these are some of the symptoms that can be seen on the infected banana plant in a plantation. As you can see, it, it causes discoloration of vascular bundle, splitting of sedastum, yellowing of all the leaf, and severe cases it could lead to total plant death. So as I mentioned earlier, banana is a huge industry. It involves 400 million consumers in total. So if you didn't address the problem of Panama disease properly, 1.6 million hectares of land could be affected by Panama disease in 2040. And this could be accounted to be 10 billion USD, US dollar losses, uh, which is a huge sum of money. So a viable mitigation uh, approach need to be uh, executed in order to address this problem. So our research group decided to study a gene family known as Vecula Processing Enzyme or VPE. Vecular processing enzyme or VPE is classified as a cysteine proteinase enzyme and act as a plasma caspase with a caspase 1 activity. So previously, it has shown that VPE involved in cellular suicide strategy PCD for the developmental process and different response against biotic and abiotic stresses. So um, when it was first identified, um, VPE is known to be responsible for the maturation and activation of vecular protease in plants. However, a recent study have shown that P uh, VPE also involved in activation of program cell death by initiating the vecular rupture and releasing the vecular protease to the surrounding and activating the cascade in plant immune response. So these are some of the studies that have been done on the VPE involvement in plant pathogen interaction, for instance, is in Arabidopsis thalana and also Malassepensis, which is an apple. 
So we know that the VPE could have a potential to be uh, the next gene to be uh, used to confer the resistance against FUS uh, pathogens. So we decided to study of these VPE genes and we hypothesized that VPE modulate plant susceptibility towards FOCTR for infection through activation of program cell death. So in this master study, I, I have four main objectives to achieve. The first one is to identify and characterize MAVPE genes from the banana. Second, I would like to determine the tissue specific expression of VPE genes family and their expression profiles upon FOCTR for infection. Third, I would like to examine the proteome changes in banana root upon um, FOCTR for infection. And lastly, I would like to functionally characterize BPE genes upon infection with FOCTR4. So here comes our finding. Um, from my study, I managed to identify seven BPE genes in the banana genome, and they were designated as MAVP1 through MAVP7. And then um, from there, we determined the operating frame length for each MAVPE, and they were ranged from 414 best pair to 1,539 best pair. And then after that, we did use the size of amino acid for each MAVPEs, and we determined the molecular weight and also the isoelectric point. So all this information are available in this table too. And then subsequently, we proceed with the multiple sequence alignment by using cluster W to see the conserved region of this uh, MAVPE as compared to the previously reported VPE in Arabidopsis thalena. So we found that this MAVPE has four conserved regions known to be N-terminal and C-terminal vertical motif, which is required to localize this VPA protein to uh, the VECO, and then they also have the ASP binding pockets uh, to, uh, to detect the substrate specificity uh, of this uh, VPE. And lastly, they have the catalytic TI uh, for the cleavage activity. Um, and then subsequently, we perform a computational homology modeling to see uh, is there any differences between uh, banana VPE and Arabidopsis VPE that has been reported previously? So uh, as you can see here, the MAVP 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6 are quite similar in terms of protein structure with the Arabidopsis thalena VPE. However, for VPE 3 and VPE 7, they are quite smaller in size and uh, it's quite deformed as compared to Arabidopsis thalena VPE. This mainly because of the operating frame length of this VPE is quite shorter as compared to other VPE. So we, pres uh, we assume that the VPE 3 and VPE 7 might not be able to function uh, as well as uh, v other VPE in banana. And subsequently, we perform a phylogenetic analysis whereby we classified this MAVPE into two groups. And we found that MAVPE5 and MAVPE3 are actually falls under the category of seeded VPE, while the MAVP, while the remaining VPE falls under the vegetative type of VPE. All these remaining VPE are the one that are normally uh, responsible for the uh, plant pathogen interaction. So subsequently, we performed a tissue-specific analysis. Uh, we tested the expression level of MAVPE from uh, in different uh, part of the tissue. As you can see that MAVPE 1, 2, 5, and um, 6, uh, there is no expression that can be seen. Um, we postulated that this VPE might require some stimuli uh, such as abiotic stresses or biotic stresses in order to be induced um, in this uh, tissue that we tested. And then MAVP3 and MAVP7 um, is stably expressed across different types of tissue. And the most interesting part is the MAVP4, which is differentially regulated in different tissue and highest regulation was found in the fruit. So we postulated that the MAVP4 could be responsible for maturation of the uh, fruit uh, during the fruit development. So subsequently, we want to see is there any uh, different regulation between the MAVP expression in susceptible barangan and resistant jari buaya. So we can see that most of the MAVPE are being upregulated for, sorry, are being upregulated for the MAVPE uh, in the susceptible barangan, but then for the MA uh, for the resistant jari buaya, 
the expression was uh, somehow being suppressed or remain at low level. So from here now, uh, from here on, we postulated that VPE is required to determine the susceptibility response against FOCPR4. So in, uh, to further support our hypothesis, we perform uh, several enzymatic analysis. And the first one is the caspase one activity that correlates with the protein level of the regular processing enzyme. And uh, as you can see here that our study uh, actually showing similar trend whereby the susceptible brangan showing increase of caspase one activity across time of infection with FOCTR4, but then it is being downregulated across time of infection for the resistant Jari wire. And then after that, we perform a pathogen content to see whether like um, the susceptible brangan uh, actually showing a successful uh, successful invasion of FOCTR4 or not. And then we found that the uh, pathogen content keep on increasing uh, uh, across time of infection, but then it remains uh, at a similar level for the resistant Jerry Boyer. So it shows that uh, in the Barangan plant, uh, the FOC managed to uh, establish the compatible interaction with the FOC, uh, with the plant. And then afterwards, we perform uh, several uh, biochemical AC that is uh, associated with programmed cell death, uh, which is the H2O2 concentration and relative asterisk activity for the cell viability. So as you can see here, in the Barangan plant, the susceptible, the H2O2 are increasing across time of infection, but then it remains at low level uh, or remain unchanged for the uh, resistant plant. This is mainly because they doesn't, uh, the FOCTR4 are unable to exert any stress, uh, further stress on the resistant cultivar, but then they manage to uh, cause tremendous stress in the uh, susceptible cultivar. And uh, this leads to uh, reduce in cell viability in the susceptible brangan, but then the Jari Boyer remains uh, at uh, have high level of cell viability. And this is the confocal analysis whereby we can also see that um, most of the susceptible cultivar uh, have shown uh, PI uh, the stain nuclei acid with propidium iodide, which shows that the plant cell actually are dead, but then it is not shown in the jari wire. So it shows here that um, the uh, program cell that is happening in the susceptible brangan, but then it is not happening in the jari wire. So uh, from from here, we conclude that uh, FOCTR4 uh, induced BP expression in the plant cell, in the susceptible brangan, and then they induce cell death in the plant cell in order to establish a successful, uh, compatible interaction with the host plant. Um, it is quite impossible to say that VPE is the only thing that actually responsible for the uh, susceptibility or resistant response against FOCTR4. So in order to understand the overview of what's happening inside of the plant, we decided to perform a comparative proteomic analysis between the susceptible and the resistant plant. And we found that the identified protein itself have uh, huge differences. And in order to understand what are going on between the susceptible and resistant plant, we perform a KGG pathway analysis. And we found that the, these three a uh, pathway or three group of protein are involved, uh, are differentially regulated between the susceptible and resistant plants. So we, perf uh, we assume that these three main uh, pathway involved in determination of susceptibility response or uh, resistant response against FOCTR4. The three uh, pathway are the RS scavenger, cell wall reinforcement, and also PR protein. And on top of that, we also find a caspase-related protein in our proteomic data, which further support our hypothesis that uh, activation of uh, VPE or caspase uh, could lead to susceptibility response against FOCTR4 in susceptible uh, barangan. And uh, subsequently, we perform a caspase inhibitor study in order to do a functional testing. Uh, so what we did here is that we perform a uh, inoculation study between the barangan, uh, the, the, the normal one, and then we have the barangan and we uh, inoculated them with the caspase one uh, inhibitor. 
uh, we treated them with the caspase one inhibitor and then after that we inoculated both of them with the FOCTR4 suspension as you can see here that the barangan that doesn't inhibit uh, that uh, that is not treated with inhibitor they show necrotic cell death but then uh, not in the one that is inhibited with uh, caspase one inhibitor uh, and then after that we also look at the transmission electromicroscopy and we found that um, the barangan that is inoculated with FOCTR4 shows uh, this integration of the VACO, but then it is not shown in the, uh, the one that we inhibit the VPE activity by using a caspase one inhibitor. So the, uh, this one shows that um, if we have VPE in the plant uh, actively, so it could lead to uh, further deterioration or further uh, disease progression in the FOC, uh, in the infected plant with FOCTR4. And lastly, we perform a loss of function analysis, whereby uh, we utilize two type of uh, aerobidosis telena, wild type and VPE mutant. The wild type actually consists of the functional VPE, while the one uh, that VPE mutant doesn't have any VPE inside it. And then we see that the disease start to appear on five days post inoculation and continuously to develop until 10 days post inoculation, but then it's not happening in the VPE now mutant. So, these are the proposed mechanism whereby uh, when... Uh, Mr. Uh, Asrul, your mm -hmm. time is actually up. So if you could uh, quickly wrap up, yeah? Okay, this will be the last slide. Okay, so um, in conclusion, uh, FOCTR4 infection increased the VPE activity in the susceptible plant host, and then it increased, uh, and the increase of VPE activity induced program cell death in the plant host. And activation of VPE-mediated PCD facilitated FOCTR for colonization on the plant host, and we concluded that VPE served crucial roles in modulating susceptibility response in FOCTR for infected banana. So I would like to thank my supervisory committees, collaborators, and also Grant for their support throughout my master's study, and I would like to acknowledge my uh, FBL members. So uh, this is my contact details. The PI for this study is Dr. Lai Kok Song, and I'm the uh, main researcher, which is a master student for this project. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Astro. Uh, I think that's a job well done for a master's uh, uh, work, yeah? You, you've done quite a lot of work. Um, uh, perhaps because we've, we've got to move on to the main um, room, uh, at mm -hmm. three forty, we're going to have a plenary, uh, plenary lecture. Uh, I, I did, I did a proteomics work. Uh, just, just one discussion. Uh, uh proteomics mm -hmm. work on plant parasitic nematodes. So we actually found the same, uh, pretty much the same result that you found in, in FOC. Um, okay. but we've tested the PR one gene. Uh, that's actually PR ten gene. Uh, on fusarium FOC mm -hmm. and it just didn't work out. It, it doesn't actually kill off the the that particular PR gene. Uh, when we overexpress it, 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 didn't, it didn't work out in killing uh, the fusarium. So perhaps, yeah, so, so perhaps um, uh, you, you can watch uh, my, my student's presentation tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and maybe VPE probably could, could uh, play a role in, in controlling um, uh, FOC instead. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a question there. Uh, so uh, maybe you can just uh, address the question in the chat box. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I should uh, end this session. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Astro, for your presentation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so on behalf of the um, uh, Congress, I would like to uh, thank uh, all the uh, presenters who actually uh, had presented uh, the presenters in this session who had uh, presented a very uh, outstanding work uh, on pathogen and also um, uh, control of, of uh, pathogen uh, in uh, banana plantation. So uh, please uh, join me uh, to thank uh, our um, uh, presenters in a, I don't know how the manner is now, but uh, thank you very much yes, for, for the job well done. So uh, take care, guys. Uh, see you, if I could see you uh, uh, in the next uh, platform in other conferences. Uh, take care. So over to you, uh, Mr. MC. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Sharifa, for chairing this session. Uh, that marks the end of session 2A. 
We will now close the breakout rooms and invite all participants to join the main hall for plenary session two. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>